How in love are you with your hair? Can you accept whatever results you get from a wash and go? If not, continue to watch this video and see how best I can help you. Hey guys, welcome back to Lifestyle with Isita and I'm your girl Isita. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today we're going to be doing a talk through of how to get the perfect wash and go for type 4 hair, 4C hair, low porosity hair. It can also work for other hair type, but that's a hair type that I have colored, treated, type 4, low porosity hair. <laughs> that's a mouthful. Alright, but before we get into it, you know the drill. Subscribe to my channel. Click that bell. Subscribe to my channel. Click that bell. I need to get a jingle because I know after a while somebody's gonna really annoy of me trying to sing. I can't sing. Alright, so let's get into it. Let me apologize for any background noise that you might hear. There's a construction across the road. I hope it's not too much. But we will see how else we can work, how best you can work with it. You want to start your wash and go on clean here. So after you do a shampoo and a conditioner and a deep conditioner, preferably a deep conditioner, your hair should be clean, your strands should be ready and prepped to take whatever products you're gonna put on it. For low porosity hair, the less products you put on it is the better results you get. When you pile on products on your hair, your hair is confused and really doesn't know how to, to really address such an issue. So you want to start by washing your hair, you wash your hair nice and clean and thoroughly, then you do a condition. I suggest you do a deep condition here, you don't have to do anything elaborate, you can just put on your deep conditioner, put on a steam cap, hang around for about 10-15 minutes, just get your cuticles open in your, your, your hair shaft, your hair follicle, whatever they call it. Open enough so that the moisture can get in and your hair can be healthy and strong and prepped for your style. Alright. After that, you're gonna stay in the shower. You cannot do a wash and go on type 4 hair without lots of water. Crazy amount of water. Water from the shower or a big spray bottle and another jug to fill that because your spray bottle is gonna be finished in no time. You're gonna saturate your hair and this is where you actually need to work in sections because then you'll be able to manage it better because you need to get the product and water through every single strand. I use the Eco Styler Gel because one, it does give me some shine. It is very much more affordable than any wash and go product they have there that they designed for it. For me here in Jamaica, Eco Styler is like $800 and if I should buy an Alicaid natural, say berry jelly to do a wash and go, that's about $3,000, $4,000. So you can understand why we use Eco Styler so often, even though I don't think it's the best thing out there. But you have a purpose. All right, so you get your Eco Styler gel, you go in the shower, you keep the shower on. You don't have to have the shower running consistently, but you have to have some kind of moisture in the air. So I prefer to use warm water because it opens your hair more, opens your follicles, opens your scalp more so it can get all that goodness in. Take your Eco Styler Gel, you take a clump of your hair and you start to lather it in. Put a good amount. Wet it, lather it in, wet it, lather it in. Then you shingle your hair. When you're finished, you're gonna take some oil, whether it is your castor oil, shea oil, whatever oil it is, the oil that your hair likes. You're gonna squeeze some in your hand, you're gonna just gently push that through your hair as well. Gently push that through your hair. I do that way, you can do it after every time. You can do it every time you add a, some gel to a clump of hair, you can add moisture to that hair. Take a towel or a rag or whatever it is, you know, microfiber cloth. Cover your face. I'm not gonna touch my face because my makeup is popping today. We understand. And you shake your hair. Left to right. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. You're one, shaking out excess water and product that is in your hair. And you're also allowing your curls to clump together. Now how the system works is that when you're shingling the product in your hair and your curls are forming and you're pulling it with your fingers and your curls are forming, the gel, when it's dry, would freeze your curls into place. And I normally cut my hair while when I'm doing a wash and go because then there's gel in my hair, all the strands are together. I allow it to fall with the weight of the product. 
I allow it to fall with the weight of the product and the water and then I clip my ends. It's 11.54. I did this at 8 o'clock this morning and it is nowhere near dry. So you know low porosity here, one of the issues we have is that water just sits on top of your hair. It doesn't go through the shaft, it doesn't go through and dissolve, it just, it just sits there. It takes forever to get your hair hydrated, it takes forever to dry. So I can guarantee you that it is, what time is it now? 11.55 and this won't be dried until probably tomorrow at about 9, 10 o'clock. It's not gonna be fully dry if I'm gonna leave it to air dry. If I'm not gonna leave it to air dry, I can sit and blow dry it. I normally sit under the fan to get it dry, but essentially it will dry and shrink and puff up and then I'll probably lift the roots. Right here, at the front here, if you can see, has already started to dry. You can see that it's not, say, wet. Well, this one's dry too. It's not wet like hair. You can see it's still it's still sappy and all that stuff. But at the front here, it's starting to dry. And before this morning, it was down here when I finished. Everything was about here. So now it's dried, dry, dry, dry. So get into a nice little flow. Now, you have to be able to accept your wash and go for what it is. You are a type 4C girl. If you're not gonna look like a one type three, you're not gonna look like a one type three, a, a type two, you're not gonna look curly, curly, like nobody but your own curls. Your curls are just for you. My curls are just for me. You have to accept what you get with what you have. If you don't like the texture of your hair, you do not like how your hair is, there is ways to chemically change it to make it straighter or curlier, but this is what God give you. This is what God give you, and you just need to love your hair just like how you love yourself. Because it's a part of you. Don't talk and watch other people on the road and talk about, I want curls like curls or hair goes. Well, you can have hair goes. You can have hair goes because I have hair goes, but you know. Um, you need to just understand you're here for what it is and accept it for what it is. I know it's easier to say it than to do it because it took me a while. It took me having children and having girls in my house and having other people tell me the value of me to not understand the value of my hair. If you understand what I'm getting at. When I had my daughter, I had locks and she started to identify me with long hair and she not having long hair and I decided I think I need to go back to my natural hair because I had natural hair before that's why I locked it and let her see me when she's growing up with my hair and I have to show my girls every day how versatile their hair is, how beautiful their hair is, how much I love them and their fat and everybody around them loves them for their hair and their hair is really is not who they are as a person but it's the first thing that people tend to see that's on your face so it is a struggle to raise your girls to understand them and I realized that wash and goes is one of the hardest things that persons with natural hair try to accomplish and they are unable to do so because they cannot accept what the results are for themselves if you see my wash and go and then you see my best friend's wash and go, she has type 3B hair. I have 4B and, and 4C hair, 4C at the back, 4B to the front, 4C at the side, type 4 hair. She has type 3 hair, I have type 4 hair. We have completely two different wash and goes. I'm in love with her hair because it is long and fluffy and she can just go. That's all I like about it really, that it just can go and I'm sure she likes that too. She loves my hair because I can do a twist out, I can do different styles at whole because I have kinkier hair, I can hold the products and hold the style properly. So you, essentially what I'm trying to say is that you're looking at some other woman's hair and saying that I want her hair and she's looking at your hair and saying she wants your hair. So that's my speed for today guys. Thank you so much for joining me on Lifestyle with Isita. I'm your girl Isita. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment so I can tell you what you think and I'd like to know how in love are you with your hair? Please don't forget to answer the question that I asked in the first part of the video in the comment section. I will, I will of course answer your comments and I will see you on the next video.